In this video, I'm going to show you how to create stars in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. And in this tutorial, you will learn how to add realistic stars to your images from scratch. And also, I'm gonna show you how to turn it to a custom brush preset that you can use in the future. So, to create the brush, start by creating a new 1000 by 1000 pixel document and fill the background with white. Then, what you're going to do is take the brush tool and reduce the hardness to about 90% to soften it a little bit so you don't get hard edged stars and they look a little bit more realistic. Then, take a small brush and click once to add a dot at the bottom right corner. This will be the shape used in the brush to paint the stars. But if we look at the reference image, you will see that stars have different and random shapes and not a perfect circle. So we need to recreate that inside the brush. You can simply do that by painting at the edges of the dot with the brush tool just to change its shape a little bit. Now you are going to do that again in the top right corner. This time use a smaller brush size to make a smaller dot and change its shape again. Okay, once you do that, you are going to turn it into a brush. Make sure the background is white and your brush shape is black whenever you are creating a brush preset. Now go to edit, define brush preset and then rename your brush. Once you turn it to a brush, it will be automatically selected and it will look like this for the moment when you paint with it. So now you need to modify some brush settings to get this to look like realistic stars. So open up the brush settings tab and start by checking the shape dynamics and increase the size jitter. This will add variation in brush size and with the minimum diameter slider you can control how small or big the single star can be. Next increase the angle jitter to make sure to rotate the stars and change their angle to look a little bit more random. And you can also increase the roundness jitter and check the flip X and Y jitter checkboxes. So at this point your brush should look like this, which is close, but we can make it even better by checking the next option, which is scattering. Now increase the scatter to scatter the stars and add more space between them and also make sure to check both axes. And that will make the brush look like this. If you want more spacing between the stars, you can click on brush tip shape and increase the spacing using the spacing slider at the bottom. Next, you can check color dynamics and add color to the stars. And this step is optional whether you want to check it or not, but if we take a look at the reference image, you will see that in this particular image, some of the stars have some of the color of the sky, and we can recreate that with color dynamics. You can control the intensity of the color with the slider and you want to also check apply per tip to apply the color to the individual stars. Next leave the hue and the brightness jitter to zero and change the saturation slider to your liking. So to see the effect of color dynamics on the brush you are going to change the foreground and the background colors to a slightly brighter color of the sky. In this case, I can change the color of the foreground to a bright orange and the background to white. And as you can see, when I paint with the brush, we have some stars that have the same color of the foreground. Okay, the next option that you can check is transfer. And you can increase the opacity and the flow jitter to your liking. This will allow you to paint stars with different opacity levels to create the illusion of distance between the stars. But in this case, I already added color dynamics and if I add transfer, it will become a lot less visible. So lastly, you can check build up and this will allow you to press and hold the mouse and it will continue adding the stars and slowly building up. Okay, so we can start adding stars to the sky and I like to add them in multiple levels. So you can start painting on a new layer with a very small brush size to create the stars that are further away in the distance and then add another layer and paint with a bigger brush size to create the ones that are closer.
So now that you created the brush, you can also convert this to a brush preset that you can use in the future by clicking on the brush settings menu in the top right corner and then choose new brush preset. In this menu, you can choose to capture the brush size, the tool settings, and also the color of the foreground. And once you choose this brush again, it will remember all the settings you saved. Alright, so that's how to create stars from scratch in Photoshop and also convert it to a brush preset. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and also leave a comment below letting me know what you think. So that's it for me today, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.